Really appreciate that. Thank you, Charlotte. Gotta love ya. <laughs> Alright, so today we have first impression video on the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I feel like I haven't done a first impression in forever. I've been hearing a lot about this foundation lately, so I wanted to give it a go. All the reviews that I've seen are on people with pretty dang good skin. I have cystic acne, so a lot of the foundations that look like full coverage on someone else may look like light coverage if you have acne. So you get one fluid ounce of product in here, which is pretty standard for foundation, and it retails for $44. So I ordered mine off of Nordstrom. It says there are 15 different shades, and I got the lightest shade, which is one fair. On the Charlotte Tilbury, website there's a pretty good foundation finder so you can see your undertone and see which shade will be right for you shade one says natural beige shade for very fair skin tones with cool undertones and i feel like the shade of this is actually perfect for my skin really dig in the shade of it if you're a pale princess with a similar skin tone to me the shade will be light enough for you i do have a full pale skin playlist that i'll link down below with all of my foundation reviews and things for pale skin. Anyways, let's get on to the claim. So it says it's a full coverage, demi matte, long lasting foundation enriched with hyaluronic acid, mushroom extract. That does not sound very appealing to me. And concentrated power of vitamin C. So basically, Charlotte was like chilling making this foundation for five years. They call it the magic foundation because it's basically a, supposed to be a foundation for all ages, all skin types, all skin tones. It's supposed to work for anybody and give you a flawless kind of look. It has SPF 15 in it, which I really like, and the applicator is a pump. So let's just get into it. You guys are going to see how it applies and wears throughout the day. If you guys like first impressions videos and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below what foundation you want to see next. If you want to see my thoughts on the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, you are in the right place. Just keep watching. Alright, so I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. Today I used the Ulta Matte and Prime. This is one of my favorite primers, just a nice smoothing primer. Whew, I feel like I need more caffeine right now. Alright, so I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation right here. Look at this packaging, so freaking pretty. It's a glass bottle, which feels luxurious, but not the best for traveling. And I'm going to give this a shake. doesn't sound super liquidy or anything. And I haven't opened this at all, I don't even know what kind of... Oh, wait. That doesn't look right. Okay, so there's a pump. You take this top off and there is a pump, so that's exciting. Ooh, the shade looks like it could be really nice. Pretty neutral, doesn't look too yellow or too pink. It has a pretty thick consistency, it's not running at all. So I'm just gonna take my finger and first dab a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush on one side and then a makeup sponge on the other side. This is the Morphe E31, one of my favorite foundation brushes. I do have a 10% off code for this if you're interested. So I'm just going to go and start to apply this bad boy. So this is supposed to be full coverage, and she says to apply a generous amount. If I say she, like Charlotte. Charlotte and I were talking earlier. I obviously have cystic acne, so we've got a lot to cover up. I feel like that just set really fat. Whoa, yeah. That set really fast like super fast. I feel like I put quite a bit on and I definitely didn't get full coverage. You can still see redness, freckles, covered up obviously some of the acne, but it definitely doesn't look like a full coverage flawless application. Let's apply some to the forehead. It feels kind of like a gel when you apply it. It feels similar to the, I think it was Rimmel, the 24 hour foundation or whatever, the one I really like. I do feel like it's sitting a little funky on my forehead. You can definitely see the foundation on my forehead. A ton of textures coming through. The shade I feel like is perfect. When I have blush on and stuff, this will be perfect. I really like the shade. So now on the other side, we're going to go in with a makeup sponge. I'm putting another pump on the back of here. And this is the Pure Cosmetics sponge. I love this because it has a flat side right here. This is a super nice sponge and they do sell this by itself. I could just sit here and like squeeze this all day. Go in. Okay, already getting way less coverage. Yeah, not getting uh, nearly as much coverage with the sponge. I'm going to add a little bit more and see. Okay, I'm going to ixnay the sponge because that is just not enough coverage. I'm going to try the Sigma F82 instead. This is a round top kabuki brush, one of my favorite foundation brushes. And I just did a whole video on my favorite makeup brushes, so I will link that below if you missed it. But this one usually gives me pretty good coverage. That's definitely more coverage, but for some reason I feel like this side looks a little bit better. Okay, first impressions, I would not call this full coverage. I think this is a medium coverage foundation. 
I am going to go in for a second layer to see if we can, maybe it's buildable to full coverage. Right now, I don't think it looks like revolutionary or anything. It is sitting pretty funky on my forehead. This side of my cheek looks pretty good, so I'm going to go back in with the Morphe brush and put a little bit more on. So the sponge is really helping to make the forehead look better. I feel like it takes away some of the texture and like excess product. Zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm seeing. I'm kind of indifferent right now. I think it kind of just looks like a standard medium coverage foundation. Still wouldn't call it full coverage. You can still see redness and some acne and stuff showing through. And just the texture, like the way it sits on my skin, you can see my two zits peeking through right here. I feel like this might be one of those foundations that looks better as the day goes on. I hope so, because I'm not totally thrilled with it right now. So I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and then we will be right back. All right, so the rest of my makeup is on. I did set my face with the Cover FX setting powder because I use this every single day. I feel like using a setting powder is totally personal preference for me since I've been using it every day. I feel like it's a good comparison. It doesn't look that great. As far as the finish, before I used the setting powder, it was about a satin matte finish, definitely more on the matte side. This isn't like a glowy foundation at all. So it's now 12.48 p.m. So this is kind of a late first impression. I was working this morning and I'm just now getting around to filming. I'm gonna leave this on as long as I can and check in throughout the day so you guys can see how it wears and if it looks better or if it looks worse throughout the day. By the way, on my lips right now is the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever by Ofra. I freaking love this color. And then on my eyes is the Shan XO palette, just random mix of a few of these shades. I think I'm going to do a whole video using the Shan XO palette, so let me know if you guys want to see that down below. So I'm just going to run some errands, go grocery shopping, do work, and I'll check back in a bit. So it is now 4.06 p.m., so it's been on for about three hours now. Last night I was reading all the health benefits about being a vegan, ordered a juicer online, Amazon at 2 a.m., and today I got KFC. So let's check out this foundation situation. A little bit of creasing around my nose. As far as I can tell, the rest of it still looks pretty good. It looks about the same. Not really getting oily. Nope, feels good so far. I do really like the color of it. I feel like the shade is perfect, but I just feel like I'm wearing a lot, probably because I am. I had to like layer it on. This contour, this is the Makeup Geek contour. It looks really muddy. I don't know if I just put too much on or what, but it definitely looks a little bit muddy. All right, so it is now eight o'clock p.m. And I feel like in the last few hours, it has gotten like significantly oilier. I want to show you guys under this light and then I'll also go under the ring light so you can see. But I just don't think it's looking too great. My forehead looks super shiny. And yeah, there's oil coming off. Around my nose, it's like totally broken up. It just doesn't look that good. Alright, so I just turned on the ring light so you guys can see. But super oily. I've only had this on for about 7 hours. So I can't even imagine how this would look in a few more hours if it's already this oily. I don't have overly oily skin. I have pretty normal to combo skin. Usually I'll get a little bit oily around my nose area and tiny bit on my forehead, but nothing like this. Shouldn't look like this after seven hours. So that's just my thoughts on this. I'll try a different setting powder and I'm also gonna try mixing it in with different foundations. I do really like the color. That's like my one positive of this is that I really like the shade of it. I think the shade is super nice. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Charlotte. Gotta love ya. But for my skin type and the amount of coverage I need, I don't think that I will be keeping this. I'll probably be returning this foundation. I have seen reviews that of other people that absolutely love this foundation and it works really well for them. So maybe try and get a sample of it from Nordstrom's if you can and see how you like it for yourself. So if this video is helpful for you guys, give it a thumbs up so I know. Again, let me know down below what foundation you guys want to see next in a first impression video. If you're new to my channel, join the Bay Rito family and click the subscribe button so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Uh, I think that's everything. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.